30,000 subscribers. Look at how far we have come. Yes, we hit 30K while I was away. Absolutely incredible, and I thank each and every one of you for helping make this channel into what it is. So, we're going to have a giveaway. More on that in a bit, but first, we need to talk about YouTube again. I know, I know, they're back at it. I don't want to have to talk about them either. But what they're doing, again, may affect this channel. And what they're up to now is openly censoring videos. Videos that aren't necessarily breaking their terms of service, but videos that they disagree with nonetheless. They say they're not censoring it, they're just hiding them where nobody can watch them. Which is the same thing as censorship. I mean, how stupid do they think we are? And it's quite alarming in that they say they're going to be targeting controversial and religious videos. Well, some may say that magic is controversial, namely those who have never done it. And we talk about the hermetic principles and hermeticism. That technically falls under religion. We've talked about the divine, God, and we've explored these subjects. Does that mean that our videos are going to be hidden as well, to where no one can view them or watch them? What about all the channels with similar content? And so this is the type of thing that everyone needs to rally against. How do you know when someone's an extremist? Whether they're on the far left or the far right. Well, you know when they want to start policing your ideas. When they've become so polarized that any opposing ideas they cannot tolerate, not only for themselves, but they try to do their best to make sure that others don't hear opposing ideas either. That's what it means to be an extremist. That is an identifying trait. And this is what YouTube and Google are doing now. I mean, Google just fired one of their engineers just for questioning diversity. They're calling it like the anti-diversity memo, which it really wasn't against diversity. It was merely questioning why they have to hire someone based on race or gender over the skills and experience of people. Questioning why we treat everyone exactly the same when there are biological differences, say, between men and women, for example. And he was questioning things in a very delicate and respectful manner. Do you think that Google reciprocated doing the same? No, of course not. They lost their minds. And you're out of here. <laughs> because when you are polarized to the extreme, you cannot tolerate anything that opposes that polarity. You cannot tolerate views from the other side. See, they're all for diversity, unless it's a diversity of ideas. I want you to notice and recognize this. They all clamor for diversity, except for a diversity of ideas. Now, they may say that they're open-minded to all types of ideas, but actions always speak louder than words. They may claim to be tolerant and open-minded, yet firing someone for having a different view or censoring video content by hiding it are not things the open-minded and tolerant would do. Actions always speak louder than words. It only goes to show and prove that Google and YouTube have become closed-minded and intolerable of other viewpoints as they have become extreme in their own. Why is it that people fight over ideas so much? I've said it before, everything begins in the mind. What does it mean for the company when the minds of the people running it are so closed and polarized? It is their company. They own it. They can run it into the ground if they so choose. I prefer that they didn't. I like it here on YouTube. But I think that they're taking things way too far now. And it's a dangerous thing for them to do. 
to openly say that they're going to discriminate based on religion? That doesn't seem like a very smart legal standpoint to take. I mean, that's what I would do if our content suddenly started being censored. I would lawyer up on religious freedom because religion is one of the topics that we cover here. But I don't want to have to go through that. Something like that can take years to resolve. So I'm hoping they'll get too much pressure and end up backing off or that it just doesn't affect us. But don't think for a moment that they're going to back off of their extremism. As I said, they want diversity except when it comes to ideas. They want everyone to be different except in the way that they think. What's the point? Now from the beginning, you know that I've done a lot of work so that those who are meant to have this knowledge will find it. And it's been working pretty well so far. But that's not going to matter much if YouTube makes it to where those seeking the channel can't find it. They don't have the manpower to do this manually. I assume it's going to be an automated bot thing. So I may have to go back through all of my videos and get rid of any tags that relate to God or religion. A bot's not going to be able to tell me from who they're really after. It's not going to say, oh, Freighter's okay, don't touch his content. And as far as I've heard, there's no way to appeal it if your content does get put into limbo. The abyss. So, I never really ask anyone to share this channel because of the work that I do, helping people to find it who are meant to find it. But if YouTube and Google are going to not play fair and make it to where people can't find it, even if they are looking for it, then yes, I am going to ask that you share this channel. It may be the only way that it can grow if they have their way. And maybe not even that. I think that if they put it in the limbo, you may not even be able to share the videos that they censor. I mean, hide. So yes, we need to share it while we can. If you have a favorite video lesson, share it. Which brings us to our 30K giveaway. First, you need to be a subscriber. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. I will be picking several people out at random to win their pick of my programs. Not including the Magician Essentials Bundle or the Laws of Magic subscription series. But any one of my other standalone programs. So first you need to be a subscriber. Next you need to leave a comment on this video. And lastly, you need to share some of this channel's content on social media, whether it be your favorite lesson or even just a link to this channel itself. Winners will be randomly chosen and announced probably within a couple weeks. So once again, to participate in the giveaway, you must be a subscriber, you must leave a comment on this video, and you must share content from this channel or the channel itself on social media. Now, when you leave a comment, don't freak out if your comment doesn't show up right away. I always tend to get a lot of comments wondering where their comments are. <laughs> the reason why comments don't show up right away is because I have to approve them. When you have 30k subscribers, as we now do, you tend to get a lot of spam that the spam folder doesn't always catch. Because people are always constantly trying to work ways around that. Spammers are going to target whoever has a larger subscriber count because they want their spam to reach as many people as they can. So the more subs you get, the more the spammers are drawn to you. But rest assured, I will read your comments. They haven't disappeared into YouTube limbo. <laughs> the abyss. I will get to them as I have the time. But the last video I didn't get to the comments right away. And people were all freaking out. So when you leave your giveaway entry, don't freak out if it's not showing up. A lot of people do this and then they write it again. And then they write it again. And next thing you know, I got three to five comments of the same thing. Multiple comment entries will be deleted. Only one per subscriber. That's really the only fair way to do it. So leave your comments. Share some content. Good luck to all. And I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, here's another Mystery School lesson you may have missed. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more weekly content to help expand your knowledge. Thanks for all the love and support, and I'll see you next time. Take care.